How's it going? Welcome back to this kitchen table. You know, I appreciate your comments. Although I don't really know what it is I'm doing with this video channel, I find your comments to be helpful, inspiring, and so I am thankful. Speaking of the comments, I'd like to use this time today to share a bit more of my personal experience. My personal experience with life. <laughs> I ended up running away from home finally when I was 15. Well, I don't think the term ran away really suits the situation. I mean, no one was chasing me. No one was trying to find me or call me back or anything. It's more like fell away, slipped away. Yeah, I ended up slipping away from home finally when I was 15. <laughs> anyway, it was the summer. So when autumn came around, <clears throat> I went back to high school. <clears throat> Looking back, I don't have a fucking clue why. Maybe it was force of habit? Probably more to do with searching for some semblance of familiarity in my life at that point. Anyway, grade 10 only lasted a couple of months before I was expelled from the school district for accidentally burning down a large portion of the school gym. That's a uh, whole other video for another time. <laughs> the gist of it being, I was arrested, and that's when I was found to be a runaway. So they put me into foster care. I was in a few foster homes for a while. Then they put me in a independent living skills program. This was a four-bedroom house full of street kids in a bachelor suite with a chaperone on duty 24-7 downstairs. We four were given government checks and taught how to budget them. Utility bills, rent, grocery and meals, bus pass and stuff. Then we were to find jobs with their assistance and be kicked out into the working world and off the government handout. While I was in the independent living skills program, I discovered acid. LSD. LSD really helped. But again, that's a whole other story for another video some other time. Being on acid, I wasn't really interested in abiding by the curfew. But there was one of the street kids, a chick, who would sneak to let me in no matter what time. However, this one time I tapped at her window, instead the chaperone, who was a chick too, came around the outside corner and chaperoned me into the house. After some time of chatting on the couch, high as fuck on acid, the chick chaperone ushered me to my room and proceeded to fuck me. Now, Aside from my excursions in the woods when I was five, I mean, this was my first experience with sex. Yeah. Losing my virginity to a social worker 
high on acid. Yeah. Sounds about right. So anyway, a few days after that, I was brought before the board and questioned about my drug use. The horny social worker ratted me out. I never mentioned the sex because at that time, I felt like it was only going to get me into even more trouble. And they told me I had to go to rehab or be kicked out of the system. So. I was kicked out of the system, and I went and lived in an old travel trailer owned by one of my former foster parents out in the woods behind the airport for the winter. Man, not fun, but eventually spring came and those fucking foster parents ratted me out to social services. The director remembered me and remembered something wasn't quite right about my getting kicked off the program. As it happened, <clears throat> she knew a rich Freemason who owned a food wholesaling warehouse, so she got him to give me a job and a bursary to put down on a damage deposit and rent for a bachelor suite. The director lady, who was months away from retirement at that point, would pop by with groceries and to check in on me every once in a while. Although she could have been fired if it was ever found how she'd helped me and not reported any of it. An absolutely amazing older hippie lady who, again, there's another bundle of stories for another video. Speaking of videos, and this one feels to be about long enough, eh? So, I think I'm gonna leave it here, like this, for now. I hope you've enjoyed, and maybe if you've enjoyed to the point of wanting to show thanks, Pop on over to my PayPal and drop a couple in my wallet, eh? I may be a middle-aged house husband to a filthy rich shareholder, but... I'll always be just a fucking dirty, throwaway street kid who's looking to scrounge up a bit of extra change. Right on. Take care. Talk to you again soon.